Right now, people are lonely, depressed, anxious, angry, frustrated, irritated, and a whole slew of other awful emotions. And that's why right now, more than ever, we need some entertaining content. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you are like me and you are somebody who is actively trying to improve your mental health, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right. And for those of you who don't know, I just started my podcast back up. It is a mental health podcast and I have so many people coming on like psychologists, neuroscientists, other mental health experts. So make sure you check out the podcast. It's linked down in the description below. All right. So if you're like me, every time you refresh Twitter or Facebook or any other form of social media, or if you just watch the news on TV, like I don't know if people still do that. It is all about the current crisis that this entire planet is currently dealing with, all right? And I wanna preface this before I jump into the Shane Dawson topic. I am not, I'm not a huge fan of distractions and avoidance. I personally practice mindfulness and I learn how to embrace those feelings which helps build up my own personal mental and emotional resiliency. But I do feel that distractions and avoidance are sometimes necessary as long as we're aware that we should also learn how to embrace those emotions, all right? So I was scrolling through um, Instagram and Shane Dawson, the wonderful Shane Dawson, he came across my Instagram stories and he was doing uh, you know, some Q&A yesterday and I came across this one. When are you gonna post another series? And Shane replies, not sure. I can't imagine filming something right now. I feel so sad and weird. We have stuff we could post, but I just don't feel inspired to post stuff right now with everything going on. Sorry this answer was so long. I'm just in a weird headspace. And not long after that, I saw Raw Beauty Christie actually tweet something out that Shane replied to. And Raw Beauty Christie said, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Talking about makeup right now is hard. I just almost can't. I start speaking on camera about it and I stop every 12 seconds because it just feels so trivial. I don't know, man. I wanna put out videos, but it just feels too weird. And Shane Dawson replied, same. And listen, I get it. I absolutely get it. As a content creator, especially as a mental health content creator, I want to make other types of content. Um, everybody's being inundated with this stuff going on right now. I want to do other things, um, but it's hard to talk about, for me, it's personally hard to talk about mental health without talking about what's happening right now, all right? But again, like now is the perfect time to make entertaining content. It is doing a service. It is doing such a service to the world right now to release entertaining content. And I really hope, not just Shane Dawson, not just uh, Raw Beauty Christie, but all the influencers out there, all the YouTubers, all the heck, heck TikTokers, I don't really watch TikTok, but all of them, uh, Instagram people, whoever it is, right? While being safe and practicing social, social distancing, like I, I do think it would be an, an incredible service to put out entertaining content, all right? So real quick, I wanna tell you a theory that I've always had, all right? And it's one of the reasons, uh, a little method to my madness of how, um, I structured this channel for a while. I'm trying to lean more towards like purely mental health stuff. Um, anyways, one of the reasons I intertwined, you know, things going on in the YouTube community is because of this theory. Life, the human experience is difficult, okay? It is stressful. It is filled with, you know, just ups and downs and sadness and loss and fears and anxiety. And this is before everything happened, right? So this is one of the reasons I believe that people enjoy watching, you know, drama YouTube and, uh, you know, commentary YouTube, right? It helps us get away from what's going on personally in our lives. Like, we don't have to look at what's going on in our own lives or within ourselves when we're watching other people and what's going on with them and we get to comment on them and judge and everything like that, right? So what I've tried to do is kind of whoop, turn it back on us and say, how can we relate to this? What's going on in our own lives, right? But I do think that drama channels, commentary channels, all these other channels, I think they provide 
a necessary service, right? Giving people a little bit of an escape if that's what they want, right? It's, it's, uh, it's a formula that's been going on forever. Like before YouTube kicked off and everything, you had all the, you know, all the tabloid magazines and everything. Like, oh, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. Oh no, he didn't. He got with Angelina Jolie and all that stuff, right? We can look at that and say, okay, now I can, you know, get a little bit of an escape from my daily stuff that's going on, right? For example, um, I've had a lot of views on my recent Trisha Paytas videos. And although that is a, a, a serious subject and, you know, it, you know, it's something that many people would argue is hurting the mental health community. I feel people are drawn to that story because it's a distraction from what's currently going on. I've had hundreds, if not thousands of comments and I go through most of them and I haven't seen anybody comment about what's going on. I'm like, huh, okay, well at least this is giving people a little bit of a distraction. I wish it didn't happen, but it's something that I've noticed because I'm always trying to look at human behavior and everything like that. So my plea would be for people like Shane Dawson, Rob Beauty Christie, and every other YouTuber out there to make entertaining content. Like Shane Dawson is sitting on content and stuff like that. You know, now's a great time to work on it and try to, try to release it and give people a little bit of a distraction. But here's the thing. I think also people with a platform, people with a large amount of influence, they, they I think they should also be, you know, doing little PSAs, creating awareness, um, trying to encourage social distancing. In fact, if any of you watched Danny Gonzalez's video that he just dropped yesterday um, with an update about uh, that TikToker, formerly Musical.ly guy, what's his name? Paul or Troy, Troy Becker, Paul, originally Paul. So anyways, anyways, Danny Gonzalez released this entertaining kind of video, but then at the end, he finished up with this. I don't want to come back in the update corner, all right? My knees are killing me. I've been sitting here for 40 minutes. That's how long it's taken to record this video this far. I've been sitting here on my freaking knees for 40 minutes. Just please apologize so I can stop doing update corners about this. All right, well, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little update corner episode. Hope you guys are doing all right, staying inside, trying to practice some social distancing. I know I am. Hopefully you guys are all taking the proper precautions, washing your hands a lot, trying to avoid going to public places. Even if it's not to protect yourself, to protect those around you that might be immunocompromised. And if you guys are, you're in luck. Hopefully I'll be posting a little bit more during this period because I know that a lot of people are gonna be pretty bored. I'll be posting more on here. Hopefully I'll be posting more on my second channel too. If you didn't know, I have a second channel. So that right there, I think is a great formula for YouTubers right now, right? Create this kind of entertaining content and then just kind of, kind of discuss a little bit at the end right there, what's going on and some good practices and everything like that, or even just a little encouragement or a little hope or whatever it is. But, but we all know that Shane Dawson is one of the most creative people here on the platform, right? And I think now is a great opportunity to think outside of the box, right? We're all trying to practice uh, social distancing, or I hope you are. And I think there are some very cool things that YouTubers can be doing with content right now. I think there's some, you know, collaborations that people can do. Like imagine, imagine this kind of like collaborative effort from people like, I don't know, Shane Dawson and his whole crew and include like Jeffree Star and, you know, other people. And, you know, it's taking videos from each other's houses and kind of like intertwining it into this massive collab and this really entertaining content or even a series, right? Um, although I am not <laughs> someone putting on makeup right now, like a lot of people, unfortunately for many, have a lot of spare time on their hands right now. A lot of people are not working right now and they're at home. I'm fortunate enough to, you know, um, be able to work from home. But the beauty YouTubers, like, now's a great time for people to play around with makeup and learn how to put it on and all this other stuff. Um, DIY channels, arts and crafts channels, like, uh, you know, one of my buddies, uh, Nerdy Crafter, it's a great time to go check out her channel and stuff that you could be doing at home, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think now's a great time to create entertaining content, right? So Shane, if you see this, release that dang content, okay? We could all use a little bit of fun right now. And even if it was just like some vlogs of what people are doing during their days, you know? Because right now, a lot of creators are talking about this subject. It'd be nice to have a little escape or entertainment with talking about the subject. 
All right. But who am I? Nobody is obligated to do a dang thing. But I think the world right now could use a little bit of entertainment. All right. But anyways, that is all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody who supports the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at TheRewiredSoul.com. And all the books are on sale right now for 25% off if you use the code REWIRED at TheRewiredSoul.com shop. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.